A person was very fond of parrots. He used to train them and sell them to interested people. Once he got a good parrot. He trained the parrot to speak well. presented it to the emperor. Akbar liked the parrot because it replied clearly to his questions. The king made special arrangements for the parrot's safety, security and care. Birpa, this is a lovely parrot. I have never seen one like this. See how its feathers sparkle. Yes, your majesty, they shine like gold. How beautiful it speaks. Yes, your majesty, its speech is brilliant. And from everyone, it has to be taken care of well. The best of foods should be given to it. If by chance something happens to the parrot, the person who informs me about it will be hanged to death first. Understand? We will take care, my lord. Days passed. Suddenly, one day the parrot died. The guard came running to people. My lord, what shall I do? The parrot has died. Shh! If you tell that, the king will have you put to death. Please help me, sir. I don't know what to do. I took care of it really well. Okay, forget it. I will talk to the king. Birbal went to Akbar. And pretended as if he was very sad. Birbal? What happened? You look sad. Your parrot. What about the parrot? Birbal again stammered. Your parrot, your majesty. Birbal, what happened to my parrot? Your, your parrot. I'm asking you, what happened to my parrot? On the name of Allah, tell me the truth. Your Majesty, your parrot neither eats anything, nor drinks water, nor speaks, nor moves his feathers, nor opens his eyes. What? Has the parrot died? Your Majesty, I did not say it. You said it. Oh God! A parrot is no more. Its life on earth is over, my lord. All right. What can we do about it but bear it? The king remained calm. After some time, he forgot about it. I appreciate your intelligence, Birbal. Thank you, my lord. Akbar appreciated Birbal's common sense and uncommon intelligence. Jidabai blessed his efforts. Congratulations, Shiva. I heard that 